get the gears rolling. Like it or not, the lifestyles enjoyed by industrialized nations is dependent upon growing economies. Donald Trump knows this and is suggesting we act, that we act soon, that we act decisively, that we put the wheels back on the bus and get the gears rolling. If we are honest with ourselves, then we realize Trump and other business tycoons are correct. Without production, our manufacturing will fail, and without customers, our retail and service industries will likewise wither and die. This is a priori. Recognizing the need for our economies to thrive, world leaders, whether political, business, or religious, are calling for us all to get back to work. In response to the demand, I give a resounding yes. Yes, we need to get back to work. We must work even as we realize that the lubricant of economic restoration will be human blood. This is as it has always been and shall always be until we reach a utopia of automation where all needs are provided. We need to do this. We need to follow our leaders. And follow our leaders we shall. In reciprocation for foot soldiers risking their lives to COVID-19 coronavirus, our leaders must demonstrate solidarity. Solidarity with the common workers whose lives are being gambled. Leaders must show solidarity to those who are being gambled for the greater good. And this solidarity must come in the form of equal exposure and equal access to medical treatment to said workers if, when, and as needed. As our economic needs are a priori, so too is the call that our president, Congress members, business, civic, and religious leaders who urge us to get back to work must agree to eat, sleep, and spend their days among the workers whose lives are being gambled. Likewise, any medical treatment made available to the common workers will be the same provided to said leaders. In this way, in this way only, can the USA and the world fully embrace the tycoons who know so much and who strongly urge us to act for the greater good. God bless America.